up everybody? My name's Megan. And I'm Cody. And welcome back to the New Heights Kids YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a craft that will be involving the cross. So what we're going to need for it is one sheet of paper, and some masking tape or painter's tape, and then whatever type of coloring tool you want to use, whether that be colored pencils or crayons or markers or paint or whatever you want to do, that's what we're going to need. So let's go on and do it. All right, so the first step we have to do is uh, we're going to be creating a cross using the tape, using that painter's or masking tape, and we're going to tape it down to the sheet of paper. Now the reason you need painter's or masking tape is because we're going to have to peel that tape off at the very, very end. Um, and so you don't want to use any sort of like scotch tape or duct tape or anything because it'll stick to the paper forever and you don't want to deal with that. So um, the first step is we got to create the cross. Um, so uh, we're going to pull, let's see, the tape, um, I guess we'll do the lengthwise of the cross first. And we're going to want to cut it at the top if you want to hold it back, because we got to make sure it's straight on each side. So we'll take that off, we'll pull this down, you see the length here of the paper, if you'll hold that, perfect, I'm going to cut it right here. Awesome. So then I'm going to put this piece of tape, oh, that's perfect, right about there. So then I'm going to put the first piece of tape so it kind of looks like that. And then you want to smooth it down enough uh, that we, the edges don't uh, kick up. Because as you're coloring or painting or whatever you're going to be doing around it, you don't want the color to seep in underneath. And so the second step to make uh, the cross is we got to do the cross section, which is the one that goes right across the top um, portion. So let's see, I'm going to make it about yay big. That for me. Cut right there. Perfect. I'm going to stick that right across the top, a little bit closer to the top than it is from the bottom, of course, making sure it's even on both sides. Perfect. That looks good. Perfect. So it goes right across the top like that. So we just made the cross on the page. Okay. And like I said, make sure to smooth down each side. That way it doesn't stick up. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing. Alright, well, here's my cross. Perfect. And um, because we're doing this, I want to show you what the end result is going to look like. Cody uh, tried this the other day, and it's going to look like this. As soon as we're done coloring everything, and then we take off the tape, it'll be kind of like that. So it's really cool. You can actually do whatever you want around the cross. Um, I mean, like Cody did here, he did a little hill, and then it's like in the sky, and then all the fun colors around the cross, but uh, you can really do whatever you want to decorate this paper. So I think this go around, what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna use uh, some markers to begin with. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna try to do some like fireworks and some little kind of like explosions, if you will, all around the outside of the cross. Kind of since uh, this one I did was just kind of the, the classic up on a hill with all the light shining from it, so. Awesome. And um, actually, I was going to use markers too. So we're both going to use markers. It's going to be great. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like blotches. Originally, I wanted to do paint, but then I realized we don't have any paint. <laughs> so it's kind of a problem. We have a whole bunch of brushes, but no paint. I thought we had some. So we're not going to do paint. So I'm just going to have to attempt my idea with markers. So um, I'm going to go ahead, I have these uh, more pastel markers with me, so I'm going to try that. This is sad, guys, my marker, it's, it's slowly dying, so I have to try a different color. Oh no! So I've kind of started doing my fireworks, so I'm going to continue that kind of all the way around and make it a little bit darker around the outside of the cross. But one of the coolest things about uh, this craft is that when you take off the tape at the very, very end, it leaves the cross with the plain old white paper that's underneath. And what's really cool about that is that, you know, the color white is kind of a symbol of purity and hope and peace, which is really what Jesus is all about. Uh, and so it kind of like goes to reflect him in sort of a way. I like that. I like that analogy, Cody. Um, it kind of keeps it, you would say, pure. So Jesus is 
piercing on, well, was piercing on this earth. Um, and I just love how we're just kind of symbolizing that within our drawings. Alright, so this is what mine's starting to look like. So you can see my little blotch idea. So I'm going to try to do that throughout my entire paper. So I'm, I'm actually kind of really excited to see how that turns out. <laughs> How's yours going, Cody? Not too bad. Just been adding a lot more of these little fireworks up and around. So I think I'm just going to continue to keep doing that throughout the entire thing and try to keep it close to the center because then when the tape is revealed, there's a lot less uh, white there. So. so Cody, are you excited for Easter? Yes, I am. And I just kind of was thinking about it and I realized that these fireworks actually kind of do a, a good job of explaining the celebration around this time of the year. You know, this is just one of the most important times in our faith and just the ability that Jesus, you know, died on the cross for our sins and saved all of humanity. It's definitely something to celebrate about And Man, if I had fireworks, I would <laughs> blow them all off in celebration, but unfortunately I don't. For sure. We need to make it like 4th of July, except on Easter, celebrating that he is risen. It's amazing. I like that. That's great. I'm also very excited. Um, I'm actually really excited for the next video that you guys are going to see on this coming Friday. We're going to be decorating Easter eggs. <laughs> so be prepared for that. Um, so we have our Easter egg kits. We have a few of them actually. And then so we're going to be dyeing some Easter eggs with you guys. Um, again, I want you to be able to see all of your lovely Easter eggs. Um, so yeah. So mine's starting to come along pretty well. I'm trying to make the fireworks a little bit bigger on the outside to take up some more room and essentially is a lot less coloring I have to do in the end. So <laughs> That makes sense, that makes sense. Here's mine. Wow, I've gotten good. about half of it done. So looking pretty good. I got about half of it done. So That looks great. Thanks. So get to see what how this looks like when we're done. I'm really excited. You know, from this view, it kind of looks like a multicolored giraffe. Interesting. With the spots that are on a giraffe, you know? Okay, I can kind of see like that. Like a rainbow giraffe print. I don't know. Uh-huh, I don't know. <laughs> He's... He's weird. I don't get it. But I do like it. And yours, yours looks like a... Um... Not like a giraffe. No. Not like a giraffe. <laughs> Nothing and, like a giraffe either. And yours does not look like an animal. And yours might look like a whole bunch of eyelashes everywhere, I think. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> well, some of you might be wondering where all this stuff of the cross came from anyway. You know, why is the cross so important? Why is the symbol of the cross like we have today? What, is, what does that even mean? Or what was it used for back in the day? And so it's actually kind of interesting. And so uh, Jesus was crucified on a cross. Now some people just don't know what crucify means. And so back during these times, kind of when the Romans were in charge, is they would take criminals, um, maybe they were thieves or maybe they killed somebody, and they would nail them up on a cross to die, and that would be their punishment. And so what happened was they believed that Jesus was a criminal. You know, that he was there, he was a false prophet, he was there spreading lies. And so they put him up, and he allowed them to put himself on the cross, and then obviously eventually die. Uh, and so what happened is now the cross is seen as it's a symbol of life over death. You know, Jesus rose from the dead, you know, on Easter. And so now it's just become this great symbol of just so much peace and tranquility and just love of what he did for us. That's very true. It's very true, Cody. It's kind of important to realize that um, when Jesus went through, it was a very large uh, trial in his life. Jesus did not want to die on the cross. Uh, it says that he prayed three times to God, being like, hey, if if this is your will, can you, can you take this cup away from me? Like, I don't want to do this. But he said that, I mean, as long as it's God's will. So he did it because God wanted him to. Um, and ultimately, he sacrificed himself, and now it's the best moment in history that he did that because now we are forgiven of all of our sins. So could you imagine if Jesus just was like, hey, no thanks, I'm good, I'm not going to go through that crucifixion. Like, where would we be today? It would, it would not be good. 
So I'm very thankful that Jesus um, obeyed God and he sacrificed himself for us. That's so true, Megan. And it just goes to show how Easter is a lot more than just eggs and bunny rabbits and whatever else anyone makes it out to be. It's just such a wonderful monumental moment. So Exactly. Okay, well, I am just about done. I've just been adding some little explosion dots, I guess, all over it. Um, so that's what I've got. I'm just putting up those finishing touches, and we'll see what comes out of it. Right, and I believe I just completed mine. I got the blobs everywhere. Here's what it looks such, like. Such wonderful blobs. Oh, thank you. I think they look like jelly beans. But that's just me. I still think it looks like a rainbow giraffe. <laughs> I think that would be a funny giraffe if it were an actual giraffe. <laughs> so, what's next, Cody? Alright, well, this is pretty much the last step. So once you've completed all your coloring and drawing that you want to do on the outside, we have to peel off the tape for the final reveal. So, depending on which piece of tape you put on first, you're going to want to take the last one that you put on off first. So we did the one across right here first, so we're going to peel off that one first. So you got to be very gentle, making sure not to rip any of the paper, but it should come off pretty easily. Alright, so then there's that first part is taken off, now we got to do the lengthwise. Alright, well, here's the my cross turned out to be. It looks actually pretty good. Look at your, well, look at mine. There's mine right there. So it's okay if it picks up a little bit of the paper underneath, it just, you don't want it to stick there permanently. Very true. I think it adds some uh, texture and dimension to the cross. That's a very good point. So I think it actually makes it look better. <laughs> well, we want to see yours, so be sure to uh, post some pictures on our Facebook and Instagram pages, because we definitely want to see them. And be sure to tell us how it went, maybe in the comments below. Exactly. So um, thank you guys so much for joining us. I really hope you um, enjoyed doing this craft with us. So we will see you again next time with some fun dying Easter eggs. Woohoo! Alright, bye! Bye!